Hello, this is RoyJF10, and today I am going to be doing a review on the Diane Zanchi 3x3. So I first got this cube in the mail like about a week ago from eBay, and when it got here, it was, it was really, really smooth. I, I was very impressed with it, and I still am and everything, but it was too loose, and what, I was doing a solve, and it just totally popped. And it did that like several times before I actually took off the center caps and tensioned it. And I really like it that I can tension it rather than like this Rubik's 3x3 where the center caps are glued down. And so, yeah, and the sticker quality is really good except they're starting to peel just a little bit. But that might just be me because I have long nails and I'm, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this is a really, really great cube. And it came pre-lubricated, so that was really cool. And well, and the lubricants dried out by now, but that's fine. It's it's still really, really smooth. It's a lot faster than this Rubik's three x three, and yeah, it's a nice upgrade. Normally, I'd get about like um, uh, one minute ten second average with this, which means I get like one minute twenty seconds, and every now and then a forty. Um, well, yeah, and this. I've, it's a lot faster, so it's giving me a lot better times, and plus I've been um, practicing more and I've gotten better at it, and so I'm going to give you an average of five.
So my final average was 45.6 seconds, and it's decent. And, oh, and I also forgot to talk about corner cutting. This is amazing with corner cutting. It can, it can 45, but it's a little bit harder now that um, I tightened it. But it's still corner cuts really good, and it reverse corner cuts almost a half a cubie. And like the Rubik's 3x3 does not corner cut at all does not reverse corner cut not one bit <sighs> it corner cuts a little tiny bit my last video on uh, Rubik's Cube in 41.26 seconds was on this and if I had the Zanchi I probably would have got like a 30 some second solve and well yeah that's that about concludes the review and yeah, I highly recommend buying this. It costs about 15 to $17, and yeah, I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching.